Lasnagar store and why have you chosen that as a location uh, in uh, as compared to the other neighboring areas? Uh, yes, sorry. Yeah, so uh, Ulasana store, uh, the location that we, I mean, if you visit personally, you'll understand. Uh, the location is precise for, pe for people who run a retail outlet uh, across Mumbai and around MMR, who, can, who uh, regularly visit uh, to buy uh, the products in Bali. And when we were doing our uh, study, uh, internally management was discussing about this, uh, we came to a conclusion that that's a better place because through Kolapur what we do is we cover till Pune and uh, uh, we wanted to reach MMR. MMR is a, 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 it's, it's, I mean, all of us know, right, even telecoms have MMR as a different region, right, because it's so huge. So to cover MMR, what we thought was, last night the right place because Mumbai is entire Mumbai is covered, uh, uh, Bivandi is covered, and Badlapur is covered. Also, Konkan region uh, through that uh, area is covered. So that's the uh, re uh, reason why we took a strategic call that we opened a store at the last time. Yeah, Another question uh, from Dairya Vardhan Singh of uh, Business Remedies uh, newspaper. Uh, what is your what are your company's plans with respect to e-commerce penetration in the B2B sari retailing space? Uh, I think uh, as I uh, was earlier telling during my presentation, uh, B2B is, is a different ball game altogether. Uh, we are not saying I mean we are not seeing many players in that, and B2B is something which is going to all uh, complement to our existing physical stores. And our existing physical stores already covers uh, 13,000 customers, and we have a data points, and we also have uh, a system that uh, uh, tell us about, tells us about inventory and the inventory terms. Uh, through B2B, what we're going to do is uh, it's sort of a uh, complement. It's going to complement in a way that, as I was telling earlier, that there are. Uh, I mean, customers who visit daily, there are customers who visit once in 15 days, there are customers who visit uh, once in uh, 30 days. For them, but it's, they don't, they visit once in 15, 20 days, but they require those products again and again, because it's a repeat, uh, it's a repeat game for them. Why? Because once the product is sold out through their store, they need that same product again. For them to travel, it's not, it's much, much difficult than to do it online. So that is how we want to use B2B. And again, uh, through B2B, uh, there, are, there are no boundaries, right? I mean, we can, right now we are catering to Maharashtra and South, and through B2B, we can uh, uh, expand that uh, territory. Thank you. Uh, there's a question from uh, Gitanjali Kedia from spkulsian.com. Uh, what is the reason for uh, gross uh, margins increasing from 9% in FY22 to 13% in FY23. Sorry, could you repeat that? 9%. What is the reason for gross margins increasing from 9% in FY22 to 13% in FY24? Uh, I mean, first of all, thank you so much for noticing that part. I mean, we work very hard to get best of the designs, which no one can, and, and also to capitalize those designs by uh, getting better margins. Uh, so the main reason would be uh, the gross margins that we, because again, um, we have efficient management team sitting with us right now, MD, uh, along with his uh, other team members, he decided, uh, let's work out a plan where we can procure goods with the, uh, I mean, where, where we get best price in Nyan's, best price in fabric, best price during dyeing, and best price in job work. And they worked very hard for this, and uh, that is the reason why they could uh, bring down their purchase price <coughs> and still sell at the price which was profitable to us. And that was the reason why. I mean, that is the reason why our margins are growing. Yeah. Another uh, question from uh, Business Remedies again: uh, uh, Are you planning to expand as a B two C player uh, even in saris as compared to men's ethnic wear? And uh, are you planning to expand geographically? Uh, 
I mean, uh, and we've already shared a uh, talent presentation. We have talent to go into men's ethnic wear, and B two B is our major focus right now. Uh, B two C online, what we'll do is with, I mean, that is specifically we we'll focus more on a bit of men's ethnic wear. It will be a feedback loop for us because we'll understand men's ethnic wear market more from the B two C online. Uh, but our major focus is going to be B two B. How many customers do you have in North India, and are you planning to set up one more store over there, or uh, in East, or any other uh, zone? Uh, as I shared, uh, major focus is getting into ethnic wear, and uh, then B two B ethnic wear, and a bit of B two C. Apart from that, I think, I mean, that's it for now. Uh, there's a question on inventory management uh, in your business. What happens uh, to the saris uh, uh, in terms of inventory which is left over, and how do you manage to uh, make your uh, entire inventory system more efficient? Uh, there's a data management tool uh, that we have within our uh, ERP. I mean ERP system. Uh, we already know what inventory works well, and uh, as far as I believe about the inventory wastage, uh, there are two ways of that happening. One is either the product is default when it is produced itself, and which is again uh, cut out during our uh, quality check, and it, it has been sent back to the uh, the people who uh, uh, sold it to us. Uh, second would be. Uh, uh, would be the designs, right? So usually, sari is a seasonal. Uh, uh, I mean, it has different seasons, right? So uh, Diwali is one of the seasons. Then wedding is one of the seasons. Then again, like any other uh, textile product, could be ready-made or any other product. Uh, Imagine <coughs> uh, monsoon season is considered to be a, a slack season, uh, and during that time. Entire, uh, I mean, the customers that we have, what they do is they try to uh, get product at a at, at a sale amount, and what we do is during that period, whatever designs which are minuscule, I mean, uh, because I already told you, we start with uh, sample pieces, and we only uh, increase the number of order once we get a feedback that this particular design is working. Even after that, if certain designs are left out, we try to uh, sell it out uh, during that monsoon season period. And what we do is, say, uh, because if you will visit our store, you'll see that we have different, within that same design, we have five, six pieces. So there are different designs as well within that. What we do is we mix those designs and we create a different set of uh, uh, packet itself and mm -hmm. we sell it. And that's how we try to manage our inventory. How were your uh, FY21 financials affected due to the pandemic or uh, any other uh, corporate restructuring which happened during those years? Uh, uh, pandemic was was uh, slightly bad time for everyone um, across the world, and it's not just us. And like everyone, uh, we had to shut down our stores uh, for two months. Uh, and, and that did affect to a certain extent, which is already being uh, reported in our DRHP and, and I think, uh, but we recovered very well, and which is reflected in our numbers, 610 crores. Since the entire group has got a lot of uh, entities, uh, was there a restructuring, corporate restructuring done uh, uh, to incorporate some of them into this IPO bound company? I, no, I don't so. Uh, how do you manage uh, the data uh, uh, points uh, which you get uh, due to the vast experience from over 13,000 customers and how is this used uh, efficiently for business prediction? Yes, uh, I can talk all day about that because I'm a data geek and uh, it's, it's, I mean the systems that we have, the different reports that we have generated, uh, it, it tells us uh, behavior of each customer, uh, because we have 35 customers, but they uh, come from different region. Uh, 
slightly uh, a different ball game altogether. Uh, let me tell you why. Uh, sari which can be sold in South can be sold in North. Sari which can be sold in Kolhapur can be sold in Mumbai. Everyone has a different taste, not just designs, even color. So what we try to do is through this uh, data management, inventory management, and ERP, uh, we try to figure out which customer from which area is buying which color, what price range, and what design. And based on that, uh, what we do again is uh, we decide, I mean, we uh, try to categorize which area is doing how much revenue. And based on that, we decide which particular product we have to order. We also decide which particular product in which area is, is selling more. And through that, we order more of that particular product. So this is how uh, we use our inventory and ERP system uh, to manage, uh, I mean, to cater to such the vast space of customers and get the data points from that. Uh, question uh, for Jigar Desai from uh, Unistone. Uh, considering that uh, the listed peers are in uh, uh, like Sai Silk and Go Fashion are in a different segment altogether and the business model is not comparable, how have you arrived at the pricing uh, for this IP? So basically, I understand that uh, they are not like to like comparable. But uh, we have tried our best to, uh, as there were very less B2B uh, listed peers. And uh, on that basis, we have uh, compared on the PE multiples and on the NAV multiples and uh, other, other ratios, uh, as you can see in the DRHP and RHP. So, this is that what I understand uh, the uh, price multiple with respect to upper band and the low band. Is approximately 17 or uh, between 7 to 18 for uh, Saraswati Sari, and uh, other uh, multiple uh, other the uh, peers are higher, trading higher at uh, 30 to 40 in between 30 to 40. So that we have arrived on that one. Thank you. If there are no more questions, uh, then we can close the conference. Yeah. I would like to know why IPO size is reduced. You are, I think, getting almost 11 and a half crore lays. And again, whatever you are generating from the final finished IPO, 81 crore is going for the working capital. So how are you going to use it to scale up your production? Uh, first of all, thank you so much uh, for congratulating us. And the uh, it is a uh, pleasure to answer. Uh, first of all, uh, let me point out uh, that uh, the amount was never decided. Uh, we just came up with, uh, with 80, 81 crores was something which was already decided. The issue size was uh, never decided. It was left uh, post the approval and it was an internal discussion with uh, uh, BRLM and other uh, management team members. And uh, 81 crores that we are uh, planning to utilize is purely for working capital. So, uh, as you can see uh, uh, in the presentation as well, uh, we are more of, I mean, as 3, and 3 lakh SKUs, we are more uh, focused, uh, we are a capital light uh, asset business and working capital uh, heavy business. And that is the reason why we're going to use that 81 crores more for investment. Uh, and uh, other needs. When I say inventory, I'm talking about we are starting up with a new product, which is a men's ethnic wear. Uh, and apart from that, uh, also I would like to point out what we usually do is, I mean, if you could see in our past, we try to churn inventory, inventory rotation is six times, right? And what we're going to do, we are adding one more product. Apart from that, improving our in, uh, inventory efficiency to increase those churns and uh, we buy and, and uh, our idea is to sell more uh, number of products and in, in the margins which is fairly good. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to sell more of what we are already doing through the money that is coming in by efficiently managing our inventory. So that is how we're going to use. So majorly it's working capital need, major working capital need inventory. And uh, study industry, variety 
if you have variety, you'll win. So we are already winning, and uh, we want to uh, reach at a scale where no one can touch us. So that is the reason uh, why we are raising that equity. You talked about uh, e-commerce uh, penetration. So what are your plans? Because I think whatever you are selling to your uh, 13,000 customers is offline, not online. Yes. So online, how we are going to get more help in uh, scaling up your operations? So, uh, thanks so much for asking that. So online, what we will do is, it's, it's a, Again, we're going to comp the online is going to complement with what we already do, right? We have 13,000 customers in place. We have their data points. We know what they buy, when they purchase, and what they purchase, and what season they need, I mean, at what season, what, uh, what particular product they need, and what, what price range do they need. So usually, as I was telling earlier, most of the customers, I mean, across Maharashtra, there are few customers who stay like at the vicinity of 15 kilometers. Few customers stay at the vicinity of say 30, 40, and based on that, they have their uh, purchasing planned out. When I say purchasing, they keep ordering online, which is WhatsApp, which is not easier, right? How many messages you get on WhatsApp? I mean, it's not true. easy to showcase all designs on WhatsApp. So people who uh, usually travel once in a month, once in 15 days, what we are going to do is, through this uh, B2B online e-commerce, we're going to showcase all our products. It's going to be in their hand. They can just sit there, we send in notifications of any new product coming in, any new design, and this particular design and also the notification will be catered to a particular region in a different way and other region in a different way because we know what they want to buy. And based on that, we're going to try to increase the purchasing uh, cycle for them. Once in, rather than once in 15 days of particular product, we're going to try to bring them to once in a week. For once in a week, we're going to try them to be twice or three eyes in a week. So this is what the plan is going to be with this B2B e-commerce. And when we talk about uh, e-commerce again, offline, online, price variation is very. So how are you planning to tackle that issue? Because if you are selling something cheap on online, why somebody will buy on offline? Yes, yes. So, uh, in fact, I buy phones uh, and other products online to be cheap with that, right? But that is B2C, sir. Uh, we are doing B2B. Our price point is going to be similar. Our uh, is what price point we are selling uh, at store, physical. The same price point will be uh, on online as well. Uh, the only benefit that they are getting is, is they could see the number of writing. Huh? customer ke ease ki liye ye la rahe hain hum apna uh, geographic expansion within particular regions that we are working like for example 13000 if we want to reach to 15000 if we want to reach to 20000 unko reach out karne ke liye ye bana rahe hain 